Hi peeps, my name is Zena and I'm aging ethically. I recently did something that I've always wanted to do. I just moved to Arizona a few years ago. I'm from the East. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I lived in Florida for a long time, uh, but I always wanted to move out West. I've finally done it. And then I arrive and I start working right away and I don't travel at all. <laughs> well, my father surprised me and told me that he was going on like a cross-country road trip with his partner Mauricio. Unfortunately, because of the current situation in the world, my father, who would normally go on a cruise this time of year, was stuck at home. So he decided out of nowhere to go on this cross-country trip with Mauricio. For starters, if you're new here and this is the first video that you're watching, hello, how are you? Welcome. <laughs> I review vegan and cruelty-free products and cosmetics. I do make some recipes from time to time, which is a lot of fun. And I like to share my work at farm animal sanctuaries. So this is a vegan channel. Welcome. This channel is for everyone. And thank you for joining me. So I was beyond thrilled that my father and Mauricio were doing this cross country road trip. I just thought it was the coolest thing. And it was very short notice, but I was actually able to go and meet him at the Grand Canyon, one of the wonders of the world. My boyfriend, Josip, or Joseph, uh, Josip would be the uh, Croatian pronunciation drove me to the Grand Canyon and uh, joined me on this little mini weekend vacation. And it was just so special and I am so thrilled to share it with you guys. Clark Griswold at the Grand Canyon. <sighs> okay, let's go. <laughs> so my father and Mauricio we're already at the Grand Canyon. My boyfriend, Yosip, picked me up and drove me to the National Park, which was a really fun experience because we've been dating since November and we've never really had a road trip or like a vacation together. So this is the first time we're going to be doing something like that, which is always, you know, like a big step in a relationship. We stayed at a really rustic hotel, which was about a half hour from the Grand Canyon, but it was super, super like Americana, Wild West. There was a gas station right next to the hotel we were staying at that had a bunch of restored classic cars, which my boyfriend just went crazy when he saw because he is in the middle of doing a resto mod himself. He builds cars and that's what he does with his spare time. As a career, he is an engineer, which is really neat. So he is the total package. <laughs> quite good looking and quite smart, quite talented and quite creative. My father was a teacher for many, many years. He speaks five languages and Mauricio, his partner, is a teacher as well, a foreign language teacher as well. He teaches Spanish. So I am surrounded by very strong and intelligent men in my life and I am grateful and always inspired by them. The day that we arrived, we went to dinner at Route 66, which surprisingly had a lot of vegan options available. What a fun place. Route 66 is all Americana nostalgia, and it is just amazing. I found this little sign that I'm going to show you amidst all the uh, Elvis and Betty Boop and Marilyn Monroe and Johnny Cash. I found this sign right in the center of them all. I refuse to become a nugget. And then you have a very aggressive looking little chick. Tell me how cute that is. And this was, this was in the window of a shop at Route 66, this, this vegan themed metal sign was in the window at Route 66. I was shocked, shooketh, if you will. At the hotel, there was this little bat clinging to the wall and I immediately thought of what we do in the shadows and Laszlo, he's like, bat, and then he just transforms into a bat. And then the following morning, we went to the Grand Canyon. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I know. <laughs> I just keep walking. Wow. On the way to the Grand Canyon, I'm always looking out for animals, for wildlife, uh, because to me, that's one of the most exciting aspects of a trip. <laughs> I always look for the animals. And what I saw on the side of the road were mule deer. Now, I've never seen mule deer before. To me, they look like baby moose, uh, but they were so beautiful and majestic. It looked like a giant deer with like moose-like horns. And they were, you know, just out in nature doing their thing. Absolutely stunningly beautiful to see in real life. We were on the southern rim of the canyon. There wasn't much railing holding us back <laughs> from the edge of the Grand Canyon all along the area. I was shocked. I was shocked. And there are a lot of families, a lot of little kids, a lot of people with dogs, you know, pets and stuff like that. And a lot of people taking daredevil photos. It was shocking. It was actually breathtaking a few times. I had to look away because people were, were you know, pulling stunts and trying to take photos too close to the edge. And it was a little scary, but absolutely gorgeous, quiet, peaceful nature. I knew it would be impressive but actually seeing it and actually being there, I can't believe how truly glorious it is. We decided to hike about a mile and a half down in the Southern Rim. There were parts of it that were kind of steep, so I knew coming back up was gonna be interesting. It was kind of hot, not as hot as Phoenix, but it was pretty warm. We were cracking jokes the whole way down, having a good time. But in the back of my mind, I was like, oof, this is going to be tough coming back up. We are climbing back up the canyon. It's a lot easier going down. <laughs> I'm the wimpiest one of the group, apparently. <laughs> I'm not too proud of that, but I'm going to wear that badge. My father, you guys, is 75 years old. He is in incredible shape. He goes to the gym all the time. He and Mount Isio are very fit, and I always knew that. But I never realized how physically fit, especially with cardio, he truly is until this trip to the Grand Canyon. Because coming back up the mountain, I was the wimpiest one in the group. I, who have worked on my feet 12 hour shifts for years. I, who am currently a mail carrier for the post office, working in 110 degrees, working my butt off, was the wimpiest of the three. My father, Mauricio, they go to the gym all the time. Josip, my boyfriend, was a professional BMX rider for many, many years. So he has that muscle memory of an athlete. <laughs> I was outclassed, you guys, outclassed. So I was showing you some clips of my father and Mauricio and Josip beating me up the mountain. And we really did have a good time, but man, I was so thrilled to get back to the top, 
because my goodness, it was a bit of a daunting task. There goes my dad, tooling up the mountain, effortlessly. So one false step, so you could really look around you and take in the glory while you were doing the hike. You really needed to pay attention to foot placement. Okay. Okay. Well, they're not doing it now. Do it. Echo! Okay. We're almost to the top. Mm. Oh, we gotta get through the tunnel first. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> so my father being in incredible shape at 75 years old, he is himself a wonder of the world. <laughs> well, speaking of wonders of the world, if you don't know what the Grand Canyon is, I will break it down for you right now. The Grand Canyon in Arizona is a natural formation distinguished by layered bands of red rock revealing millions of years of geological history in cross section. Vast in scale, the canyon averages 10 miles across and a mile deep along its 277 mile length. Much of the area is a national park with Colorado River whitewater rapids and sweeping vistas. For thousands of years, the area has been continuously inhabited by Native Americans. The Pueblo people consider the Grand Canyon a holy site and made pilgrimages to it. The ancestral Puebloans were a Native American culture centered on the present day Four Corners area of the United States. They were the first people known to live in the Grand Canyon area. Tucked within the Grand Canyon are an estimated 1,000 caves. And of those, 335 have been recorded. Even fewer have been mapped or inventoried. Today, only one cave is open to the public, the Cave of the Domes on Horseshoe Mesa. Absolutely amazing, you guys. I wish I could have explored some of these caves and seen some of like the ancient etchings inside of them, but that I'll have to save for another day. One thing I learned about Yosip being that it's our first trip together and I knew he was physically fit, okay? Uh, but I had no idea how he would perform under duress. I mean, he was meeting my family for the first time and he was cool as a cucumber, which was so fun to watch. But he's a little bit, not a little bit, he is a lot of a danger boy. He was one of those guys that wanted to take the cool pictures and go like to the edge of the rocks. Ah. And it made me nervous a few times, but you know, as I mentioned before, he was a professional BMX guy. He used to do flips and tricks and, and do all that kind of stuff. And yeah, of course it makes sense that he would be a bit of a danger boy, uh, but it was just funny to see it in real life. So it's uh, something new that I learned about him. Although I was in the back of the group, you know, I was just making sure everyone was okay. So I think hopefully Yosef realized that I'm a trooper and I can hang in there. We've learned some fun things about each other on our first little outing our little weekend vacation together. The Grand Canyon is stunning, dangerous, mysterious. I should have that etched on my tombstone. <laughs> stunning, dangerous, mysterious. No, it really was beautiful. And if you ever have the opportunity to go to the Grand Canyon, please, please, please do go. It was such a great weekend. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are all aging underscore ethically. I am so happy that I got to share the Grand Canyon with you guys and with the men that I love. This has been such a wonderful experience. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>